Yo, what is up everybody? It is Machiavelli here, bringing you guys some more Black Ops 3 gameplay. Yesterday, like I said, I uploaded my first ever Black Ops 3 gameplay to the channel. It went over well, you guys seem to like it a lot, so I figured I would upload some more. And uh, actually, this gameplay, Bikini ends up using the XR2, and I tried this gun out on the Xbox One. It is absolutely godlike. Definitely has to be one of the best weapons in Black Ops 3, and I have no idea if they're going to patch it or do anything to it before the actual release of, you know, Black Ops 3 in general. If you played the Black Ops 3 beta when it came out for the Xbox One and the PS4, chances are you might not have gotten to this weapon. I believe it was unlocked at a later rank. It might have been like mid-30s, and I know a lot of people actually didn't play enough to get, you know, up to level 30 plus due to the fact that there were like level caps every single day, and you kind of had to play, you know, a decent amount to actually earn these weapons. But I actually unlocked all the weapons. Like I said, I reached a level cap, I believe, for the Xbox One. And the burst weapons from Black Ops 3 seem absolutely insane. Like, as you're going to see in this gameplay, you can take people out in one or two bursts. I mean, you rarely get three bursts. Oftentimes, you'll even get one or two bursts, and that is absolutely insane. I mean, being able to one burst your opponent is, you know, essentially the same as one-shotting them, since, you know, you shoot once and all the bullets go into them, and it just drops them as simple as that. I mean, you don't have to shoot a ton of times. It's just a simple one-shot, and uh, chances are you're actually going to kill the enemy. So I honestly think that Black Ops 3 is going to nerf this gun. It's similar to the M8, but it seems to be a bit more powerful. I definitely prefer it over the M8. And, I mean, it can even be fully automatic. I didn't know this for, like, the first part of Black Ops 3 Beta. I got it, and I just kept bursting it. And then I realized that if you hold down the trigger, it literally, it just keeps automatically bursting over and over at the maximum speed. And uh, that makes this gun even better than I thought it was to start off with. I tried out a ton of Assault Rifles, so like I said, the Man of War was an awesome one. Putting Rapid Fire on that thing made it an absolute monster. Uh, the M8... I used that before I got the XR2, it's kind of like a not quite as good version of the XR2 since it is a burst weapon as well, but I do, it does shoot very fast, it's just not as powerful as the MR in my opinion, and it's just, it blows my mind how good this gun is, it really does, I don't think it's going to stay the same when the actual Black Ops 3 comes out, but I am excited to see if it's still a solid weapon, even if it's not as good, but it's still pretty solid, then I'm probably going to use it, I've always loved burst weapons when it comes to Call of Duty, even though that I like to rush around the map and be kind of a fast paced player instead of just camping. I still like burst weapons. It's nice to, you know, post up towards their spawn or, I mean, even just get people at long distances that are, you know, just ready to snipe you or kill you with, you know, like a single shot weapon like the Shiva. And it's just, it's an overall great weapon. You can see even in this gameplay, like up close, this thing is absolutely dominating people, just one bursting them, two bursting them. I mean, so in my case, it even kills faster than shotguns up close did sometimes when I went to, you know, kill people that tried to run at me with shotguns. I'm excited for the actual Black Ops 3 release coming up here in November. I think it's actually November 6th, uh, don't, <laughs> don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure, but if that is the date, then it's literally like just a month and two weeks, so basically like a month and a half and Black Ops 3 is out. You know, I, I honestly missed the beta, it sucks that they took it away, they gave us a taste of what an awesome game it was going to be, and they took it away, so I'm just excited for it to actually come out in full and to play it, and to see, you know, all the changes Treyarch has made. But I, I have faith in them. I have faith that, you know, there were a few problems in the beta, a few things that were overpowered. Uh, I might even go as far as to say that this weapon might have been one of those overpowered things. But I do have faith that Treyarch is going to balance the game out and bring out, you know, essentially a pretty nice copy of Black Ops 3 fully finished. Now, on to other news. I have uploaded for the past two days. Uh, it's great getting back into this whole YouTube grind. I'm actually surprised at the amount of views I'm getting. I thought that it would have dropped a lot for my normal amount. But you guys are so awesome. I mean, I'm still getting the same views I used to. I'm still getting the same likes on my videos. And I really do appreciate the support. It has been absolutely amazing. But with that being said, this is actually my third day of uploading in a row, I believe. I'm not too sure if I'm going to have a video tomorrow. Um, I do have to get my wisdom teeth pulled out. And that is going to be it. Oh, my God. I don't think I've gone. I've never underwent any surgery or anything crazy like that. I've never, you know, had to get teeth yanked out of my mouth, you know, that are not even fully grown out yet. They're gonna, probably going to have to cut my gums open. I don't know. The whole thing just, I don't even want to think about it. It seems like a disaster. So, like I said, I'm not sure how that's going to go tomorrow. Uh, I might have time to make a video before I actually go to the doctor's. My appointment isn't until later on in the day. But uh, if I don't get the video done earlier, I can definitely let you guys know that there will be no video for the day because I'm going to be completely messed up on painkillers. I'm probably not going to remember anything from that day. And uh, yeah, it should be, it should just be an awesome experience overall. I'm just so excited to go to the dentist and get four teeth ripped out that haven't even grown in yet. And then uh, have to wear or uh, bite down on gauze for several hours later that day just to stop the bleeding. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit scared. Um, if you've had your wisdom teeth removed before or you know people that have, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I could definitely use some support or uh, at least some advice from people that have had it happen to them before. But uh, yeah, that's happening tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be so happy once it's done. You know, it's something that 
a lot of people need to get done in their life and it's gonna be nice to actually have it out of the way. That about wraps up today's video though. Um, I haven't done this in a long time obviously since I took a huge break from YouTube. But uh, question of the day, let me know in the comment section down below. What was your favorite weapon to use in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta if you did play it? Mine was personally the XR2 as you can see in this gameplay. I absolutely love the gun. It was a monster. But let me know yours in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Peace out.